Hi everyone, it's a while since I've done a video. We're here in a new year, I've got a new workshop. Uh, we're now in a new lockdown, hence the uh, homeless person look. I just decided in this lockdown just to let everything grow naturally. And then if we ever get out of the lockdown again, uh, I'll shave it all off and we'll go back to normal. Um, I've had quite a few inquiries asking me to do a video on um, activating the personal hotspot on your phone so that the Odroid system can access the internet when you get into the car without having to go in and activate the hotspot um, manually. Now, there is a, a, an automatic solution that only works on Android devices. So if you've got an iPhone, I'm not aware of any solutions, I'm afraid. So this video is only of any use to those Android users. But what I'll do is I'll show you how to set it up using the, the app and configuring that. And then we'll go to my car and I'll show you how it works. So what I'll do is I'll share my screen, which hopefully you can see now, uh, and I'll go through the process. So the app that you require for this is called Tasker. You can get this from the Google Play Store. Um, you do have to pay for it. It's only a couple of pounds. I can't remember exactly, but it's not very expensive, but it is really powerful. Um, essentially, it's an automation app you can use to carry out various actions on your device based on triggers and, and status changes and things like that. So what we're going to do is configure this so that when it detects the Jaguar telephone Bluetooth module, it activates the personal hotspot on your phone and switches Wi-Fi off. And when you turn the key of the ignition off, the Jaguar Bluetooth goes away. This turns the hotspot off on your phone and turns Wi-Fi back on again. So for that reason, what I'm about to show you will only work on cars that have the Jaguar Bluetooth phone system fitted. So first of all, let's go into Tasker. Now it's it's not a very intuitive system. It's uh, app. It's it's a little bit quirky. So I'll go through the process step by step and show you what you need to do to set it up. So there's there's a few aspects to this. First of all, what we need to do is set up what they call tasks in here. So these are actions essentially that happen. So we'll need to set up two two different actions here. One that happens when you go into the car and um, and you want the personal hotspot to be turned on and the other one when you exit the car. So that has to be done in two separate steps. So let's start by pressing plus on tasks. So we'll call this um, hotspot, not hot pot, that's a different thing altogether, hotspot on and press the tick. So this is the first action. So if you press the plus again now there's a whole load of different uh, things you can control here but what we need to have is in the net section and then we want, if you scroll down uh, it's Wi-Fi tether is what we want, so if you click into there so it says it may not work on some devices uh, I'm not sure about what happens if it doesn't, it works on mine, mine's a Samsung phone so hopefully it will work on yours so we're going to tell it to set the Wi-Fi tethering on. So Wi-Fi tether the same as your personal hotspot, it's the same thing just different terminology. We don't need to change any of the other settings here, we can just go back. So we've got a new task, Wi-Fi tether set on. So let's go back a step. Now what we need to do is set up another task for when we exit the car. If we press plus again, we'll call this hotspot oops, off and press the tick. So if you press plus to add an action now, we need to go back to net again. We need to find Wi-Fi tether and then we need to set that off, which it already is. So we need to go back. So that'll turn the Wi-Fi hotspot off when you go out of the car. Now there's one other step we need to do here as well. So when you turn on your personal hotspot, it will actually disable Wi-Fi on your phone. So one other step is when we turn the Wi-Fi tethering off, so the, the hotspot off again, we need to re-enable the Wi-Fi again. So you press plus again on the same screen. This time we'll go down to net. We'll go down to Wi-Fi and set, change that to say on and then go back. So here we've actually got two steps to this task. So it turns the personal hotspot, the Wi-Fi tethering off, and then switches your Wi-Fi back on again. So let's go back. So we've got two tasks here. Hotspot off has got two 
two things associated with it, hotspot on, it's just got the one. But now we've got those tasks set up, we need to tell the system when we want to activate that. So as I just mentioned, the trigger for that will be when it detects the Jaguar Bluetooth telephone system becoming visible. So when you turn the ignition on, a Bluetooth device called Jaguar will appear, and that's the trigger we'll get to turn the hotspot on. So we're going to the profiles this time, and press plus. So we're going to choose state from the menu that comes up. And we will go into net again, and we're going to BT connected. So what that's going to say is when it detects that the Bluetooth is connected. So this is the Bluetooth device it will search for, so we need to call this Jaguar. So it'll be searching for the Bluetooth device which appears called Jaguar. Now this relies on the fact that you've already paired your phone with the Jaguar Bluetooth already, so that pairing set up, so when, when that Bluetooth device appears, the phone will automatically pair with the Bluetooth telephone. So now we've got a list of tasks that we can associate with this profile. So we can create a new task, or we've got the two that we created earlier. So the first thing to do is click on Hotspot On. So you can see the green arrow. That means when it's detected, it's connected to the Jaguar Bluetooth. It will activate your personal hotspot using the, the task that we specified in the other screen. The next step, or the, the final step really, is to do the reverse. So to make sure that when the Bluetooth, the Jaguar Bluetooth, um, goes away, it turns the, um, the hotspot off and the Wi-Fi back on. So if you press and hold onto there, you can add an exit task. So we press that and we'll choose hotspot off. So there you go, we've got green arrow, red arrow. So when it connects to the Jaguar Bluetooth, it'll turn your hotspot on. When Jaguar Bluetooth disconnects, it'll turn the hotspot off. And you can see the, the little toggle switch that's already enabled. So that's now ready for action. So we'll go over to my car and I'll demonstrate how that works. Okay, so here we are in my car. Uh, I've got the um, status icons visible on the screen so you can see what's going on here. I haven't turned the ignition on yet, but you can see my phone's connected to Wi-Fi. The mobile hotspot is not yet on. Bluetooth is activated, but it's not actually connected to anything at the moment. So if I turn the ignition on, The phone's not connected to any, uh, the Jag Droid system's not connected to any Wi Fi at the moment. You see the Wi Fi just turned off there, mobile hotspot turned on on the phone. And it'll take a few seconds, but the Jag Droid system will scan for Wi Fi devices. There you go, so Ben has appeared, which is my phone, and it's connected. So there's no internet because my phone doesn't have very good signal here, but once I'm out driving, that'll work fine. So if I turn the ignition off now, what you should see. So mobile hotspots just turned off and Wi-Fi's turned back on again. So that's it. Now task is running in the background all the time. You don't need to touch that again now it's been set up. So you can just uh, leave the phone in your pocket, get into the car, switch the ignition on, and then after a few seconds your Odroid will connect to the Wi-Fi on your personal hotspot automatically. So I hope you found that helpful. If it was useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching.